Hey guys, Jeff here with episode 3 of From Scratch. In this episode I'm going to show you how to make one of them crates. So they're really quick and easy and I think they're a great little piece of scattered terrain for games like Mordheim or Frostgrave or for your role playing games like D&D. Um, yeah, so you can make them as individuals like that and stack them up in any configuration you want. Or you can glue a bunch together and make um, some interesting shapes and stuff with them. So here's everything that you'll need. You'll need some matchsticks, uh, probably one per crate for this style of crate, uh, maybe more if you're doing a bigger crate. A piece of balsa wood is what I use, but you could also use a paddle pop stick or a coffee stirrer, or like a tongue depressor, all those sorts of things to do the same job. Um, hobby knife, paintbrush with some paints, uh, metal ruler or just any old ruler if you like to make sure things are precise and then scissors or clippers I tend to use scissors on the balsa wood because you get a better cut and clippers on the uh, matchsticks but you could use either for both and lastly hot glue gun you do kind of need a hot glue gun for this particular thing I try and do most of my um, from scratches where you can do it with either hot glue or PVA and you could do this with PVA, but honestly, it'd just be probably um, not really worth the hassle. It'd be very fiddly and time-consuming for what you get out of it. Alright, so the first step is to cut the balsa wood. Um, also, apologies if the lighting isn't great in this video, but I'm using the hot glue gun and I can't have my light set up and my hot glue gun at the same time with my current setup. But yeah, the first step is to measure this out. I'm going to make a 25 centimeter long crate. Um, which is an inch and um, what you want to do is you want to get four lengths so top, bottom and the two sides and then you do your two ends now with my um, balsa wood uh, the end will be 1.5 centimeters uh, that's just the thickness but I'll show you how to find that thickness if you don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut these. So there's all my bits. So if you don't know the width and you don't, like the easiest way to do it without measuring it, which is a bit fiddly, is just put your pieces like that, two sides in the middle and then place uh, your leftover bit of bolster there or paddle pop stick, whatever you're using and then just mark the outer edge and that'll be the right length so the next step is really just to get your pen and I like to draw a line down the center of each piece and the reason I do that is with this bolster wood it leaves a dent in the wood and you don't have to be perfect I kind of like them to be a little bit uneven alright so the hot glue is ready to go get my bottom piece and make sure the um, drawn bit is facing down and get one of the side pieces then what you do is run a small bead of hot glue along the edge and then take your side piece and stick it on right on the bottom then you just do that with the next edge as well Then you get your glue gun again, wipe any excess off if it's getting in the way like it is with me, and um, run a bead along the inside edge. And stick the last bit in. Now 
this is sort of a little box and then the last bit is to just stick the ends on and they're pretty straightforward just a bit of glue on them you can be pretty much in. put it anywhere of these because almost the whole thing will be attached yeah now that bit's done you just take a matchstick and it's easy if you have a pen you place it so one end's on that end of the crate the other's on this and just mark it and then from the mark you can do another one take your clippers and clip them run a little bit of hot glue along the bottom of that and stick it on Anyway, yeah, that's the little crate and the reason I sink that top one in instead of putting it on top is that way the crate's a bit wider and because of the um, thickness of the, the balsa wood it just sort of looks like there's four planks along the top as opposed to um, two and what I'll do is I'll go in and put another line along here then when you paint it up it'll look like just this bit here is a thinner lid and they're there to sort of support it and you can add a little bit more to these you can add some little bits of uh, matchstick to the ends like on the very end and it to look like little handles but if you want them to stack like neatly against each other you just leave them flat or you can attach a little bit of string to have like a little rope handle on the end I'm just going to do little um, matchstick ones. I'm just going to use the off cut I had and just clip it in half. And that should be about the right size. And that's it done with a couple of little handles added to the sides to make it easy to carry. Yeah, um, next step now is just give that hot glue a minute or two to cure and then. Um, yeah, and that's up for some paint. So, next step is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to take some black paint. I'm just using uh, Abaddon Black by Citadel. You don't really need to prime stuff like this. Um, I mean, you can, but especially with balsa wood, it really just soaks up. Whoops. Especially with balsa wood, it really just um, soaks up the paint. So, yeah, just get your Abaddon Black and paint the whole thing. So now it's painted black. Um, next step is to just go in with your brush and um, just give it a pretty heavy dry brush with brown. I'm using um, a Vallejo flat brown. And yeah, you pretty much just want to paint the whole thing brown. Alright, and the last step is just to go in with a lighter brown I'm using uh, Vallejo beige brown and just gives the whole thing a bit of a dry brush so I just want to apologize for any poor lighting in this video I um, couldn't use my light today so I couldn't get any and it got dark real quick so um, yeah the lighting's just a bit average Hopefully it comes up alright though and you can see well enough what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one guys. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.